Hello from Shraddha from Love Bites. Rose pistachio cake. It's a whole wheat eggless cake and the flavors of rose really comes out beautifully in this. It's a perfect cake during our festival time either to gift or when you have visitors at home during Holi or Diwali. I have sent it out as gifts during Diwali and also served it at brunch for my Holi parties. It's healthy and loved by all. All the recipes are given in the description box below. Have a look to subscribe, to like and click on the bell icon for notifications. Until next time. Bye bye. To make our whole wheat rose cake, we're going to take some whole wheat flour, semolina, milk powder, baking soda, baking powder. We're going to sift it 5 to 6 times to make the cake light because it's a whole wheat we need to aerate it really well here is the flour i've sifted it eight times what we're going to do is i'm going to take some flour out of this and keep it in a bowl just to weave it take some slivered pistachios and add it here we're going to need this for the cake so we just coat it in dry flour and we will keep it aside let's work on the wet ingredients now here is some butter you can also take clarified butter if you want to i'm taking regular butter to this we're going to add some rose syrup or roux afza as you call it. You can take jaggery. I've taken raw cane sugar and some milk. Keep some milk aside. Take a beater and just beat it. Here it's well mixed. Now we're going to just mix this into our dry ingredients. Heat your ovens to 160 degrees centigrade. Now let's just mix it together. To the mix we're going to add a bit of lemon juice. So it's feeling a bit thick the batter. We kept some milk aside, we're going to be adding that. Don't add all of it. Because it's whole wheat, you need a little more liquid. Now it's looking like it's got a good consistency. Now to this batter, we're going to add some fresh rose petals. Try and get organic ones or from your own garden or flower pots as possible. Else wash it well, dry it and use it. If you don't have fresh, you can use dry. And the pistachios which we had kept aside, we're going to be adding that. Mix it. It's well mixed. We're going to get our pans which are ready, oiled and dusted. We're going to be pouring it in there. So level out your cake now. And we're going to put it in there to bake. My oven is ready at 160. We're going to keep it inside for 30 to 40 minutes or however long it takes to bake. Let's check. It's been 35 minutes in my oven. Yes, the cake's risen very well. It's smelling really nice. And yes, it's perfectly done. So let's take it out and we'll wait for it to cool and then we'll unmold it. The tin feels cool to touch. So let's unmold the cake. Just run our knife through on the edge. It's come out quite soft for a whole wheat. It's quite spongy. So let it just cool totally and then we'll just decorate it a little. I've got some white chocolate which I've grated very fine. We're just going to melt it in the microwave or you can melt it on a double boiler. The chocolate has melted. We're just going to put very little of it on the cake. I don't want too much. It'll get too sweet otherwise. I want a very rough finish. I don't want it very smooth. I'm just doing it very, very lightly. You can also take a piping bag and do this if you want. But you'll need a lot more chocolate. It won't work with so little. Once you've spread the chocolate, take some sliced pistachios and just add that. If you have fresh rose petals, you can use more on top to garnish. I have some dried buds, I'll be using that. Here it is, a beautiful cake for your festive season. It's healthy and eggless. Do try and make it, you will love it. Though the batter looks pink, but the color disappears. I've not added any color. If you want a bit of pink tinge, add a bit of color. Give it a try guys, thank you.